friends. I want to discuss something with you guys, and I want you guys to give feedback in the form of video responses or text responses, text comments under the video. And what I'm going to do is have a little fun here and check out who validates and who don't. And we're going to discuss a few things of because a lot of people really are stuck like glue to validation and those let's just let's have some fun let's go to let's check YouTube 171 errors 40 warnings check MySpace they have errors too not many but they have errors uh... Yahoo big giant it's like four billion dollar site or two billion dollar site uh... one of the most used websites on the web uh... it's got errors Google. google's huge one of the most used, used websites one of the most uh... money making websites uh, what else we got? Facebook is one of the hugest money-making websites. Twitter, gigantic money-making website. Oh, man, you see what I'm saying? Okay, it's www. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if we want a website to do really well and gain the most traffic and make the most money, following example, we should really not worry about it validating it's you know um, this was interesting MSN watch MSN the only ones who care haha -ha. and it really doesn't even matter uh, let's go to uh, who who else did I want to show Adobe programming gods right programming gods who give us all these godlike tools for programming on the web their main website bang errors you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying you go to big cool sites make a lot of money none of them validate not any of the big ones who else is a big site yeah most big sites that you check that really move and shake online do not validate and they continue in their success they continue in their search engine indexing and spidering and yes maybe they're not op op um, uh, what's the word multi-system operable maybe they can't operate on all kinds of mobile devices and systems but I j you know these are the biggest money-making sites on the web and I just proved to you that none of them validate and so everybody who makes us think about markup validation and checking your markup to see if it validates <clears throat> I don't think it's really a big concern all you should do is check to see that it works in all major browsers your websites all your pages should render the same uh, pretty much in all major browsers you should have all of them installed in your system okay so you guys tell me what you think about all of these really huge million billion dollar websites not validating and all of the people what what do you tell all the people who are such sticklers for validation now what what would you tell them would you tell them to continue their pursuit of 100 percent validation and be such an anal prick about it or would you tell them it's not really a big deal don't even worry about it let me know what you think 